For many people, especially kids and their parents, accidentally eating something that they're allergic to can be quite traumatic. But researchers here at the Allergy and Asthma Research Center, as well as other sites across the country, are testing a common drug that could be a game changer. How many millions of people suffer from food allergies in this country? Food allergies affects two kids in every classroom and one in 10 adults. Over the last few decades, we've seen food allergies on the rise. From three years old until today, her symptoms were getting worse. When she was diagnosed with a nut allergy, she was developing symptoms that were becoming more severe. Once the doctor said, these numbers are so severe, she's anaphylactic, she needs an EpiPen. What was involved in the study? What was the treatment and how long was that treatment? Zolaire is a familiar drug for our allergy community. It's been used for patients who suffer from asthma or urticaria, and it's an anti-IgE. So it actually takes the IgE antibodies out of circulation. And without those antibodies, we thought that patients who have food allergies who are exposed to the foods that they're allergic to would have no reactions to the food or less severe reactions to the food. When you're on this treatment, how often do you take it and in what amounts? It depends on your total IgE levels and your weight. And based on that, you could receive injections every two weeks or you may fall into every four week dosing. You're ready to go for your injections today. Okay. What was it like going through this study? I was kind of scared because I've been told to stay away from nuts my entire life. Like the consequences would be like terrible. I had to be on guard all the time. Being in this study has been really kind of helpful because I've seen a different light of nuts and now I'm not as afraid of them as I was before. Having this treatment available, how significant is that? Having a drug that has the potential to reduce allergic reactions and the severity in two thirds of patients is amazing. And it's not just to one food, it's to multiple foods. How is it to provide such hope to patients such as Annabelle who have food allergies? Oh, that's the reason I keep coming back to work every day. It's awesome to see how this changes people's lives and opens them up and relieves fear from doing activities that I think people without food allergies take for granted. You don't realize how much the anxiety kind of affects the day-to-day -day living of having a child with a severe nut allergy. We did what we could to protect our child from that, but she's gonna go places. She's gonna go to college. I can't protect her forever. And then we found out that there were other options. It makes me feel pretty good knowing I'm not gonna get sick as easily and it just makes me happy because I can do what I want.